they both look happy in these pictures. But as we all know, looks can be deceiving. Gabby, who is 22 years old, was really good about sending updates to her family several times a week after her cross-country van trip started with her fiancé on July 2, 2021. Both Gabby and her fiancé, Brian, posted several times on their Instagram accounts about the trip. On each of their accounts, you'll even be able to puzzle out their whereabouts. While you're also on Brian's account, you will now notice that there are thousands of comments on many of his pictures asking, where is Gabby and what did you do to her? You see, Gabby is now considered missing under suspicious circumstances after no contact and an initial search effort. Gabby and Brian started from Florida where they live and then they went to New York to visit Gabby's family where some of them live. And then they decided they're going to take their trip out and head west. This is where they really wanted to explore the area, the outdoors, hiking, camping. They were really into it. They planned on ending the trip in October in Portland, Oregon. But unfortunately, the trip has ended too soon. Authorities are now asking the public for help in finding Gabby, who was last known to be in Wyoming on August 25th, 2021, heading for Yellowstone National Park. Gabby and Brian were traveling in a white 2012 Ford Transit van. However, she is no longer traveling in that van, and I'll even tell you more about that here shortly. So Gabby's mom, Nicole, said that she had a last verbal conversation with Gabby on August 25th. Then she received a text on the 27th, and her last received communication was on August 30th through a text. Nicole at first assumed her daughter was somewhere without service, but around day eight or nine, she really became concerned and figured Gabby couldn't be off the grid for this long. It's not usual for her. Now, before I go any further, I should mention two important factors here. The first is Gabby's mother previously stated in an interview that she did not know if that text on the 30th was from Gabby or not. Nicole did not respond to that text, and she also did not share with the reporter what was said. See, I find this to be interesting since during this new interview, another reporter asked if they believe the text was from Gabby and the parents stated they cannot answer that. I find that really suspicious. I also noticed that on Instagram, both Gabby and Brian posted saying that they're engaged, but then the mother, when she's asked about the relationship in an interview, at first she says that question of if they're engaged or not is irrelevant and then on the next sentence she called Brian the boyfriend so I actually have that interview it will play here soon after I'm done here and then you guys can check it out for yourself now according to Gabby's family Brian returned home to Florida where he lives with Gabby and the family was asking like hey where's Gabby why is she not responding well He's not responding to them either. What he did do, though, is he hired an attorney. So the family noticed that they're not getting far with this with him. So they decided that they're going to report her missing. And they did on September 11th, 2021, around 6.55 p.m. The police were able to retrieve the van in Northport, Florida, where Brian and Gabby lived. Hmm, suspicious much? And to make it even worse, Brian is also refusing to cooperate with the investigation into Gabby's disappearance. Hold up, you're telling me that you're engaged to this person and now you don't even want to cooperate to help find her? Yeah, you're definitely not suspicious at all. It is unknown what Gabby was wearing at the time of her disappearance. What we do know is that Gabby is described as five foot five. She's 110 pounds. 
She has blonde hair and blue eyes, and she has several tattoos, including on her finger and one on her forearm that reads, let it be. The North Port Police Department in Florida is actively assisting in this case in conjunction with the Suffolk County Police Department in New York, where Nicole is from, and that's where also she reported Gabby missing. The North Port Police Department has stated that they currently have no information that a crime took place there in Florida, but that they have said that the circumstances are odd. And yes, they were also the ones to confirm that the van that she was traveling in was located in Northport. And they are actively gathering local details and any evidence to assist in finding the needed answers. Additionally, the FBI Tampa Field Office has also stepped in and they too are now looking into this situation. Detectives are asking anyone with information about Gabby's disappearance to please go ahead and contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-220-TIPS, T-I-P-S. All calls can remain anonymous. I will continue to monitor this case just because I want to know what's going on. I'm sure that now that you guys have heard about this case, you are invested in as well. So until then, I'll see you on the next case. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to the video and to the channel. I'm now going to play an interview clip from the parents that they did with some reporters. Can you guys talk about the, um, the beginning of the trip when you guys first had heard about it, some of the conversations that you had with her, any concerns, excitement, what, what was the feeling, what were the conversations that were going on? As a mom, I had concerns for my daughter going on a road trip in general but um, I felt safe, they were together, they had a plan, they had an itinerary, and um, we were excited for them. Everybody wanted to do what they were doing. No reservations about what they were doing, who was on the trip, any of that? No, it just, it was, I knew it was just the two of them, and I felt perfectly comfortable with that. What message do you want us to get out? Like, why are we here? Most importantly, um, we are looking for her. We are not focusing on anything else but finding her. And um, if anybody just has any information, anything. any information out there, anybody who's seen her, we just ask that they call the, the tip lines um, and just please give any information you have. Um, we just want her home safe with us. Is it possible that she would just choose not to be in contact for a while and just be enjoying the, you know? I know that. I believe a mother's instinct is the most powerful. Do you think something bad has happened to her? I don't know. I believe she's she's gonna come home. How did she mm -hmm. sound on the last call that you had with her on FaceTime? Did she sound happy? Was she yes. telling she was having fun? Yes. Why the long wait from August till now to report her missing? Was there a certain amount of time that you had to wait or no, um, I believed the first couple of days I wasn't getting responses. I believed she was in a place with no service. Um, it took, it, you know, it was like day eight and nine that I really became concerned and figured she couldn't be off the grid for that long. She had, was she sending you text messages after the call between the August call? Yes, we had come, we had text only conversations um, up to. Uh, the 27th, and I only received a text from her on the 30th, which I had not responded to. It was just a text to me. What was that one on the 30th? Yeah, I can't right. comment on no, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you pronounce her last name for us? Sure. It's uh, Petito, P-E-T-I-T-O. Petito, thank you. And there were reports that um, you didn't believe that the last texts were from her. What? Not sure. I can't comment. Okay. Why do you believe she's in danger? I don't know if I believe she's in danger um, for particular reasons. I just believe she's in danger because I, she's not in touch with us. And she could be alone somewhere. She could be stranded somewhere in the wilderness. And she needs help. And um, I hope that we're not out there, but I hope that everybody's looking for her. I received a text on the 30th. That was the last communication I had. And you had doubts about that text? or I can't comment on that. When she left, what did she say? Like, bye, Ma. See you. I'm excited. What did she, what was it like? We hugged. We gave them some money to, you know, if they needed it because they're kids, you know. Um, 
They were excited about the trip. They left on July 2nd from New York. What was the purpose of the trip? What did they, what um, were they wanting to do? Camping, hiking, seeing the country. When was she coming back? How long was the trip for? Um, the trip was supposed to end in October in Portland, Oregon. And what was the last conversation you had with her on video chat? What did she say? I believe it was around the 23rd and um, or the 24th. I can't recall, but um, she was having a great time. She said she was headed up to uh, Wyoming. How long have they been dating? We're not going to comment on mm -hmm. any of that. Can you talk about her hopes and dreams? Like you said, that I think you know she was kind of artistic and full of life. And what did she, what did she want to become or do or? Um. I think she was just the type of person that was free. She went and did what the day took her, you know. She uh, she didn't have a plan. This was a plan, but what was next, we didn't know. And she has a bunch of siblings um, on yes. your side and her dad's side, yes. right? Like, excuse me, four or five? Five. She has, uh, yes, five siblings. How are the kids holding on? I think the younger ones um, are quite understanding, but um, her brother is... Her two older oldest brothers are um, they're younger than her, but they're the older brothers. But she's they're um, not doing well. 